So, guys, we're at it again. We got something new for me and on. Kinda, like, like, I, I'm, I'm pretty uh, excited for what she's gonna tell me. I mean, it's, I just, I got the, um, hmm, what was that? It was, uh, the reward yesterday evening. Her, her new little mission. If it's gonna be the same thing again, with her being like, oh, there's some stuff, and uh, I'm gonna tell you later, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, and you guys too? Are you guys gonna be pissed as well? I am. I'm gonna be annoyed. Clever talk. Yay. I'm getting 100 players. And off he goes. My little helicopter. And he's not happy. Okay. Well, 100 Pele XP. Is that to 22? I would hope, but I don't think so. Okay, strength and... You are almost ready to learn something important about your training. But first, I need to tell you something. When I left Wilde, to be a wild boy in the north, I left for a reason. Because of... You are ruining it. Ru ruining, wait, ru ruining it. I can't even say. Anyway, so what did you see? Why did you leave? Like, what did you see? For the longest time, I thought it was only one side of the magic. Shh. The side that wants to help people, to bring them together. Magic that wishes well in the world. She never, she never thought don't make magic. Welcome to the dark side. We have cookies. Yeah? What? What? Cookie? Cookie? Cookie time? <laughs> <laughs> yes, cookie time. Thank you. <laughs> and then I saw this. one night while riding the forest paths, I came across a hooded figure. Oh no! Wait a minute. I haven't heard this story. No, wait. Wait a minute. I haven't heard this story. If you'd have kept quiet, we'd still be hearing it. <laughs> Why are they hiding over here? Little stalkers. This was intended to be a conversation between Clara and I. Oh, shoosh. The more the merrier. I'll go grab some cheese doodles. We can get around and listen to the other story. Hey, great idea. We're sorry for intruding. No snacks, Alex. Something tells me this is that kind of story. Yeah. Very well. If you please, I will continue. Alright, alright. Where was I? Oh, you guys! The hooded figure stood in the middle of the path. Maybe it was the darkness, but it was as if they appeared out of nowhere. What is what what is what is this? I didn't have the time to react, and before I knew it, my cheeky Icelandic cold flicker was halting to a stop. He didn't even right, he just stood there. The figure raised a hand as if they were going to pet him, and then I felt it. The feeling like a life was being sucked out of me. Like, oh, and like the life was being sucked out of me. I listened, and all the sounds of the forest were gone. I could feel my horse grow. Ooh. I realized my wife was instinct making me feel like this. My connection to nature, to horses, whatever that hooded figure was doing was draining the life out of everything. I had to get out. No shit. So. Oh, yeah, that was easy. So I did. Well, that's the end of the story, I guess. Nah. Uh, I turned to Frecker around with. All the strength I had urged him to get us out of here. We galloped or out of there. We galloped the whole way home. Could it have been a dog rider? Or you think? You think? Really? Perhaps. Or someone with the wild whispering gift who twisted it. For that there are many dangerous forces out there who operate outside of Aideen's light. 
It doesn't matter who they were. What matters is what I felt. All right. My bond with horses on Jorvik, the source of my strength, the most valuable thing to me in the world. It just disappeared. I had come to take Aideen's life for granted, and suddenly I was left in the dark. Oh man. In time, I managed to restore my bond when I found my beloved Nyx some time later. But at that moment, my perspective on the virtues of magic was with the knowledge that is used to harm horses and break the sacred bond. It scared me. I couldn't go on knowing that horses could be in danger. So I fled in fear and confusion. Up to the north in Jorvik, where I lived among nature as a wild whisper. Where I knew how to protect horses from such danger. Ah, she's But what made you come back? Elizabeth needed my help. I refused at first, but she made me realize I had an important part to play in helping the druids. So I came back for a bit. Just to help okay, so, what, so she's leaving. But then I saw how close the had been. And how their bond had strengthened their magic. I decided to stay here because strength really is I wasn't sure what I was thinking when I left Worldale. I was just my fear. Well, that's fair. But you're a real nun! The fearless wild keeper! And the most serious person I know! How could you ever be so scared? Even the strongest of people get scared sometimes, Alex. Clever. The reason of her woman. That's very well put, Lynn. What really opened my eyes was you, Clara. I'm special! Anyway. <laughs> Your dedication, skill and sheer talent given me, has given me faith in an 18's life I have built for a while. I may not be, I may not be the most powerful druid, but I know if I do what I can, our strength is sure that no harm comes to the innocent. No matter how strong you are, how in touch with your magical side, the light of Aideen lives through us when we form a strong bond with horses. Oh, a magical! You're right, and even if and even if there were our dark forces out there to try to the bond, it's still worth trying. Yeah, try until you fail, <laughs> and then try again. Now that's enough reminiscing. For Reminiscing for today. I think that's how I pronounce it. I don't remember. Um, it's time to get back to your soul writing duties. Come on, we didn't even get to the good part. Yeah. At least it's right. Thing. Enough has been said for today, but there's still one more thing to tell. Clara, soon we will go into nature and we'll give you the final thing you need to know. I need to prepare things first. I will let you know when it's time. Oh, come on! Not again. Again? Again with the, with the, oh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit, but then I'm really not gonna tell you anything. God frickin' damn it! Oh, man. I need a moment. I'll let you know when we can this first. Damn it! Yeah, none. Oh man. I want. I wonder where I have to get to to get the next part. I mean, I mean, I got to there, and I. I think I had just gotten. Was it that one I had just gotten before I got the first one? So maybe. Maybe I have to get to the next page to get the next part. Oh man, there's a long time. Anyway, at least now you guys got to see it too. So, I guess that was it for this video. I'm gonna uh, continue my training, my missions for today. I hope 
none of them is in Mistfall because I've got some annoying times in Mistfall with some of these missions. Like hitting something and then getting flown a few meters away and then getting stuck. And then getting hit by lightning again and then getting stuck again and then getting hit in the light again and then I fail. So, well, I wish I had known I could have. I could just have closed the game down before failing and then I could have done it again, but well, at least now I and you know that you can do that. Also, if anyone, if people doesn't know this, um, like you can in a reality pause in the middle of a race if you uh, if you click the, into the photo mode. I mean, the time still goes on the normal races, but at least it doesn't, at least it doesn't make you do it all over. But in these missions, the time actually stops. So. So if you need to uh, go to the South Hof and it takes like, like around five or seven minutes to get there, actual minutes, and suddenly you have to do something, you can just press the, the photo mode button and the game is lost. So, um, just if anyone didn't know, I wanted to play it. And uh, I guess that's going to be it for today. Um, other than, yes, I'm writing one of the and yes, I bought all four of them. And yes, I got 104 horses now. So, yay me, I got more horses to train. That's just great. But I mean, come on. How could I not? How could I not? I gotta stop this video before I keep talking. So, um, bye.